Welcome to Midas Gen 2015. This tutorial video will focus on working with Midas Gen for the purpose of generating a project report. First of all, let us see the requirements of an engineer in a project report. Here we have a part of the sample of the project report that engineer needs to create. In a report, we need some screenshots of the analysis model, such as a 3D view, a plan view, or an elevation. After that, we need some screen captures for the pre-processing model. We might need some load diagrams, information about the section properties, the boundary information. Apart from screen captures, we might need the information in the form of tables or text. Then for the post-processing, we need some force diagram, some reactions, some deformed shapes of the structure. Followed by that, we need design details in the report in the form of graphics, text, or tables it depends on the personal choice that what do we want to add followed by that we might be interested in adding a quantity takeoff report so let us see how we can generate a report in Midas gen so here we'll generate a report for this project so first of all, in order to make a report, we can go to the tools tab and here we have a generator, dynamic report generator button. So I can click on the generator and new document and click OK. So you can see that Microsoft Word will open inside Midas Gen. So here we can start creating a report. Now apart from that, we can even create the report in an existing format. Let us say we have a template for creating a report and we want to create the report in this template. So first we have the company information, then we have introduction about the project, we have a, rot we have a short write-up about the model. Now in this report we want to add a 3D image of the project. So let's say we want to add this view. So what we can do is that we can just right click in the window and click on the dynamic report image. We can save this image with a name. Let's say 3D image. And after the 3D image, let's say we need an elevation. So you can just right click and click on dynamic report image and elevation. And after that, we need the plan. Let's say for the plan, we need not have the entire structure. We can keep some of the structure and we can save this image as plan view. Now the next thing we need in the report are some deformation shapes or deformation contours. Let's say we need the deformation contour. So we can just enable the deformation contour. and we can save this image by the name deformation contour 1 after that we might need some bending moment diagrams in the report so we can just generate the bending moment diagrams and 
and we can add the bending moment diagram in the same manner we can right click in the window and click on dynamic report image let's say bending diagram or we might even add the actual forces so we can add these diagrams now after that we can proceed for the design results let us say we want to add some steel coat design so we can perform the steel coat design and we can save the design table so we can just right click on the table and save the table as dynamic report table steel coat check and similarly we can add concrete design results so let's say we have concrete beams that we have designed and this table contains the all the information about the design for example the combined ratios the rebar information so you can simply click on dynamic report table and save this table now we can switch to report editor tab and we can add the information to our report so let's say after model description we need a 3d image so what we can do is that we can just drag drop the image the image will be added to the report here you can see we have added the image that we captured and let's say after 3d image we want to add elevation that we captured so you can simply drag drop the images from the works tree so we have the elevation view with us now after elevation let's say we want the plan view so we have a plan view with us now we need some section information let's say we want to add the section information so we can just drag drop the section name into the report and the section information will be added automatically now we need some beam diagrams so we can just drag drop the image in the same way and similarly we can add the actual force diagram and let's say here we want to add the deformation diagram of the structure so we can use all the functions of the word here so we can just drag drop the deformation shape so the deformed shape will be added now let's say we need some analysis results in the form of a table so first we need to capture the analysis results in the form of a table we can go to results and let's say we need deformations in the form of a table so here we have the table with us we can simply save the table as dynamic report table we can select what components we want to keep in the report and we can go to the report editor and we can add the table so here we added the deformation table in the report and then for design results let's say the first thing we need to add is the steel coat check table so we can drag drop the table and let's say we also need the graphic results of the steel coat check so we can go to steel design and create the results for the steel coat check let's say we want the results like this so we can capture the contours and we can go to report and add the table or the graphic information so steel design image will be added so you have the contours now after that we want to have the concrete design table so we can add rc beam design 
so the table is added the entire information will be added now after that we want to add the bill of materials so we can go to tools and bill of materials So we can drag drop the bill of materials into the report. So here we have created the report for the first time of our project. We can save this report. Let's say we want to save this report as a PDF document. So we can save the report. So we can submit this report. Now let's say we need to make some changes in the report. We need to make some changes in the project and let's say we need to delete this part of the structure due to some reasons. Now as a result of this change all the informations will be changed. Now let's see how we can save our time in my dustbin the entire exercise of capturing the screenshots updating the screenshots in the report updating the tables updating the design results will be done by the program itself we just need to make one click and the entire report will be updated so for that I'll perform the analysis first So the analysis has been completed. Now we'll go to design and perform steel code check. And beam design. Now the program knows the updated results of the design. Now we can simply go to the report. So here we'll see that this is the old report. What we can do is that we can go to tools dynamic report auto generation we just need to select the information that should be regenerated and click on regenerate now your time of capturing the images replacing the images in your report is saved we need not do this task manually the program will automatically update the report every information in the report will be regenerated so through the process of regeneration all the information will be updated even if you make a small change the entire report can be regenerated now we'll go through the report and we'll see the revision of the information so we'll start from the beginning so here you can see the 3d image this has been updated so here the part that we deleted is no more similarly the elevation the plan view if there is a change in the section view even that will be updated analysis results every change in the information is reflected in the report so we can see 
all the tables are updated all the images are updated so all the results and even the bill of material is updated so in this way using the dynamic report feature of my dustin one can save his time in making the changes in the report again and again and and the task of making the report can be more convenient so thank you for watching this video and for more videos you can subscribe to our youtube channel Midas Civil Engineering. Thank you.